Welcome to Dance with the Mat, a practice that is designed to feel like a dance between your body and the mat. When you're ready, we'll begin in a standing position at the tops of the mat. So setting the feet, hips width, finding a stable ground, relaxing your arms by your side. We'll pause here a few moments just to set the mood. You can have your eyes open or closed. Beginning to breathe deep in through the nose, out through the nose or mouth. With each breath that grounds you, taking a scan of the body from head to toes, checking in, taking note of where needs your attention. With an inhale, reach your arms up. Interlace your fingers and flip your palms to the sky. Bend the right knee, sweep the left leg behind you and start to bend to the right. So you're looking to feel that stretch down the whole left side of the body all the way down to the left foot. Reach through your arms, hold for a breath in. Exhale, step back through center, bending the left knee, placing the right foot behind you, bending to the left, this time feeling first stretch down the right side. Keep reaching through your arms, hold for breath in. Exhale it out, return to center. Keep a bend in both knees, cactus your arms, open your chest, inhale. As you exhale, round the spine, reach your arms forwards. Inhale, open. Finding a back bend. Exhale, round. Starting to exaggerate the movement. Inhale, open, extend the legs. Standing back bend. Exhale, round, swan dive forwards. Inhale, open, standing back bend. Exhale, diving forwards. Keep this flowing at the pace of your breath. Final time, inhale. Exhale, dive all the way down. Bring hands to elbows for ragdoll. Start to sway side to side. Bending one knee and then the other. Find center, bring your fingertips to the mat. Inhale, lifting the chest. Exhale, folding forwards. Take baby steps, little bit by little bit, walking yourself back into a plank position. Then lowering the left knee down to the mat to create a kickstand. Reach your right arm up. Create a fist with the hand. Roll out your wrist. Reach the right arm overhead as you lift the right leg, finding a balance. Inhale, hold this here. Exhale, low the right foot, press off the mat, come up to gate, lowering right hand to the leg, left arm reaches overhead. Exhale, sweep forwards, turn to face forwards, come back to plank. Lower the right knee down, reach left arm up. Start to roll out the wrist. Mm -hmm. 
Reach the left arm overhead as you lift the leg, finding your balance. Inhale as you reach from fingertips to toe tips. Exhale to lower the foot, lift up. Left hand comes to the leg, right arm reaches overhead. Inhale. Exhale, right arm sweeps forwards, come back to tabletop. Tucking the toes, slowly lifting the hips, come back to downward dog. Lifting the heels, inhale, ripple forwards, top of a high plank. Exhale, bend the knees, move back to downward dog. Inhale as you round the spine to ripple forwards. Exhale as you arch and move back. Flowing with your breath, going at your own pace now. The next time you return to downward facing dog, lift the left leg high, open out your hip. Exhale, bend the knee. Spin open to side plank on your left. Right hand comes to the knee to guide you into the twist. If this is too much, you can always lower the foot to make it more accessible. Holding this here for an inhale. As you exhale, extend the left leg to the side, lower the foot. Reach your right arm up, lift the hips. Inhale. Exhale, sink the hips down, right arm reaches overhead. Inhale to lift, right arm reaches up. Exhale to sink. Inhale to lift. Final time, exhale to sink. Spin to the, the space between your legs and fold forwards. It doesn't have to be a really deep fold. We're still just getting started. Relax chin to chest. Slow your breath. Turn to face forwards. Step back to down dog. Lift the right leg high, opening the hip. And then bending the knee, come into side plank on your right. Left hand comes to the knee, guiding the knee into the twist. You could always lower the foot here to make it more accessible. Keep pressing the floor away, hold for a breath in. As you exhale, extend the right leg, lower the foot, reach the left arm up for full and star. Exhale, sink the hips down, left arm reaches overhead. Inhale to lift, pressing the floor away. Exhale as you lower, finding your rhythm. Two more times, inhale, you lift. Exhale. Final one. Then lowering down, spinning to the space between your legs, folding forwards. Slowing your breath. Inhale to lift, come back to downward dog. From downward dog, ripple to high plank. Come to side plank on your left and lift your right knee. Super slowly step the foot forwards to come to a twisted lunge. Reaching through the fingertips, inhale. As you exhale, spin open for warrior two. Inhale, settle into position. Exhale, extend the front leg, bend the back leg. Start to draw towards the back of your mat for Skandasana. Staying as low as you can, sweep to the front of your mat. Spin the back foot forwards to find lizard. Pausing a moment here, inhale. Exhale, right arm reaches back as you turn to the right for twisted lizard. Sinking the left side hip down. And pressing the floor away. Lift your hips, lift the right foot to come back to side lunge. 
to side plank. Come back through high plank. Move into side plank on the right, lifting the left knee. Step the foot forwards, come to your twisted lunge, reaching through left fingertips. Inhale. Exhale, spin open, warrior two. Inhale, hold your pose. Exhale, skandasana to the back of the mat. Pause for a breath. Staying as low as you can, sweep to the front of your mat. Turn to come into lizard. Pausing a few breaths here. Then reaching your left arm back, coming into twisted lizard, sinking right side hip down. And pressing the floor away, picking up the left foot, come back to side plank. And return to your plank, lower your knees, find tabletop. Reach your hands forward, lower chest to the mat, finding puppy pose. Resting forehead on the mat, slowing the breath a few moments here. Lead with your lower back as you ripple the spine, roll all the way forwards. And bending your right knee, roll to the left side of the mat. Place the right foot behind you. Turn around, left arm will hug the right leg. Right hand will come behind you as you find a twist. Lift from the crown of your head, inhale. Exhale, into the twist. One more breath like this, inhale, lengthen. Exhale as you twist. Release the twist, roll back onto your belly. Bending the left leg, place the foot behind you. Turn and twist to your left. Right arm hugs the leg. Left hand is behind you. Lift from the crown of your head. Exhale to twist. Good, release the twist, roll back onto your belly. Then leading with your hips, tuck your toes, slide all the way back into poppy pose. Bring the forearms to the mat. Lift your chest, coming into a tabletop with the forearms down. Inhale, arch your spine, look forwards. Exhale, round your back, push the floor away. Inhale to arch, gazing forwards. Exhale to round. One more time. Inhale as you arch. Exhale as you round, stay in that rounded position. Lift your elbows, come up onto your hands. Start to roll your spine from side to side, freeing up any areas that feel stuck or tight. I'm going a few times in one direction and then in the other direction. Come back to vine neutral, extend the right leg back. And tap right knee to the right elbow. And step the foot on the outside of your hand, coming into lizard. Reach the right arm up to twist open. You could bring the right fingertips to your temple, opening the chest to the sky. Tuck your back toes. Reach your right arm up and lift up into a twisted lunge. Reach the right hand back to catch the ankle if it's within reach. If not, just relax the arm. Left arm will reach up, 
lengthening the left side of the body. Lift away from the foot. Turn to your left now. Left hand will reach back to catch the ankle or thereabouts. Right arm will reach up. Relax both arms by your side, turn to face forwards. Allow your hips to sink further down. Then lifting the back foot, left hand will catch the foot to draw it in closer. Option to just use the left hand or both hands here. Slowly release the foot. Front hand will catch the, the front foot. Right hand will catch the front foot, should I say. Shift your weight into the front foot. Lift your back leg up for standing splits. Toes reaching skywards. And bring your right fingertips to the mat in front of you. Left arm will reach up. Bend your knee, see if you can catch your foot or thereabouts. It doesn't need to be perfect. If you've got the foot, then press your foot into your hand like you're kicking your leg up to the sky. Slowly release the foot. Step back into downward facing dog. Taking a deep breath in. Exhale, come forwards to find tabletop. Lift the left leg. Then bring the knee to tap the left elbow. And step the foot forwards, coming into lizard to begin. Reach the left arm up. Fingertips coming to temple as you turn the chest open. Staying in the twist, press away from the floor. Left hand reaches back to catch the heel. Right arm reaches overhead, coming into a back bend. Reach through right fingertips, hold for a breath in. Exhale, spin to the right side. Right hand reaches to catch the foot, left arm reaches up. Reaching through fingertips. Hold for an inhale. Exhale, turn to face forwards. You can relax arms by your side. Let your hips sink down. Lift the back foot and right hand will reach to catch the foot. You can either just use right hand or use both hands here. Beautiful. Release the foot. Left hand will catch the front ankle. Shift forwards. Lift the back leg for standing splits. Toes reaching up to the sky. Plant the left hand in front of you. Right arm reaches up as you bend the knee. See if you can catch your foot for sugar cane. Doesn't need to be perfect here. Great work, release the foot. Slowly step back to downward dog. Pedaling out the legs, swaying the hips side to side. And sweeping the left leg high, opening the hip, bending the knee. Sweep the knee forwards behind the left wrist to come down into pigeon. 
For this pigeon, keep the foot close to the body. Then right hand will reach back as you lift right foot. Start to draw the foot in closer to you. We'll all be at le different levels here, so there's many variations. This could be variation one. Variation two might be drawing the foot in and bringing the hands together like so. So you've got the foot hooked inside your elbow. Option three might be to bring the foot to the inside of the arm and bring hands together into mermaid. So find what's there for you. Slow your breath. Slowly release. Plant the hands, turn to face forwards. You can deepen your pigeon if you'd like. And with your exhale, start to soften down to the ground. Inhale to lift the chest. Step straight back to downward dog. Pedaling the legs if you need to, if one has gone to sleep. And lifting the right leg high, opening the hip, bending the knee. Sweeping the knee forwards behind the right wrist to come down to pigeon. Left arm reaches back to catch the foot, either finding variation one, just drawing the foot in closer to you. Variation two, hooking the foot on the inside of the elbow, clasping the hands together. Or variation three, bringing foot to inside of upper arm, hands reaching together for mermaid. Beautiful, slowly release. Deepen your pigeon if you'd like to. And then fold forwards to settle in. Lift your chest. Sit over on your right side to swing both legs round. And keeping the knees bent, hands behind you. Knock the knees side to side. The next time the knees go to the right, place your hands on your right side to come into a twist, either staying up on the fingertips or coming down to the forearms.
Come back through center, knees going over to the left, placing the hands on the left side or coming down to the forearms. Come back through center. Bring the feet together. Let your knees fall out wide. Catch a hold of the outsides of your feet and let your spine round as you fold into the space between your legs. Inhale to sit back up and find a comfortable seat. And we'll close our practice with some breath work. So either using your left or your right hand, whichever handed you are, bring the index and middle finger to the space in between the eyebrows. And you'll be working with your thumb and your ring finger to close the nostrils. Start by closing the right side nostril and take a deep breath in through the left side. Close the left side and hold a moment. Open the right side and exhale. Inhale through the right side. Close and hold. Exhale through the left side. Inhale through the left side. Close and hold. Exhale through the right side. Inhale through the right. Close and hold. Exhale through the left. Inhale through the left. Close and hold. Exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Close and hold. Exhale through the left. Inhale through the left. Close and hold. Exhale through the right. And release your hand into your lap. Soften your eyes closed. And we'll pause. In reflection. And you may like to keep your eyes closed and remain here for a short meditation. Just continuing to stay mindful of the breath. Not attaching to any thoughts or feelings.
Lower your chin to your chest. And when you're ready, flick your eyes open. That completes the end of this practice. I hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you for your time. I'll see you for the next one.